Today's video is all about ordering the most expensive items on the menu at mom and pop restaurants. We're going to be traveling to three different restaurants in three different locations. The first restaurant we'll arrive at is Flapjack's All Day Breakfast in the city of Barrie. Everything slid, no! Then it's eating lunch in Cookstown at the Burger Station. Holy cow! And our final destination will be a taste of Europe in the town of Lafroy. Holy schmoly, whoa! That is a lot. So what are the most expensive items at these mom and pop shops? Well, let's find out together. So grab something to eat, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. All right, guys, we are at our very first location for ordering the most expensive thing on the menu once again. We are in the sunny city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at Flapjacks, an all-day breakfast restaurant. Let's go in there and order the most expensive thing that we can get. Let's go. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Okay. How are you? All right. I would like to order the most expensive thing on your menu. The most expensive, I think, is the steak and eggs. Steak and eggs? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, we're joking. Oh, yeah. I do that for the steak benedict. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do the steak benedict. Yeah, that's good. How about the steak? Uh, steak medium. Medium and the eggs. Soft. And can I get a small orange juice? Large black coffee, please. Color the sauce. Homemade. Oh, homemade. Nice. I love homemade. Perfect. I'm glad I came here then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have, have a good day, guys. Bye. All right, homemade hollandaise sauce. You know I love it. Let's eat it. All right, guys, we are back in the car. Let's go to our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, guys, it is all unpacked. The steak Benedict is $16.99. The coffee's $1.99. Oranges is $2.99, plus taxes came to $24.83, not including tip. All right, let's open this up. Let's get the coffee ready. Cheers. Mmm. Yep, good coffee. Uh, not too strong, just right for me. Oh, homemade hollandaise sauce, here we come. Everything slid, everything slid, no. Oh no, it looks like a disaster. Roadkill. All right guys, going in for an extreme close up of the steak Benedict. Let's check out those home fries first. They look perfectly golden brown. You can see the little flecks of seasoning. You can see some salt on there. Let's go to this eggs Benedict. Not their fault 100%, uh, just trying to take it out. You might not want to order this on like Uber Eats or skip the dishes or whatever because uh, this is probably how you'd get it. It would just slide all over the place. The steak looks perfect, eh? Check out that steak. Let's check out the runniness of these eggs. Again, as you guys know, it's got to it's gotta be pierced and it's got to flow and it is pierced and it is flowing. Check that out. That is a perfect runny egg. Let's check out this one over here. Oh yeah, wow. That is exactly the way we like it. This one broke, I tried to move it back onto the steak just so that it wasn't completely destroyed. But there we go, yeah, super runny. Oh my gosh. Does that not look like a beautiful thing? Let's eat it. Gotta try their orange juice before we dig in. not bad kind of tastes like um, like Tropicana which is a good brand all right guys I normally put salt and pepper on this but uh, and they didn't give me any I didn't ask for any she didn't offer any but uh, let's just dig in all right oh boy I'm gonna cut through that steak again trying not to cut through the the styrofoam tray oh I got a little bit of everything on there Oh no, it fell off. 
Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. I want egg. I want steak. I want English muffin. Again, for those of you who don't know what an Eggs Benedict is, this is why I'm glad I brought at least the fork. Uh, it is an English muffin, toasted English muffin, buttered, and then you put your meat on it. Usually it's ham or uh, pea meal bacon or whatever, and then uh, usually a soft egg, and then hollandaise sauce, and they make their own hollandaise sauce, so I can't wait. Let's do it. That is a beautiful thing, people. Beautiful thing. It's a mom and pop shop, husband and wife team, and uh, they're they're scared. They they don't know what's going to happen. Even when they start allowing people to be open, she doesn't have enough seating in there for a limited amount of seating, and it might ruin their business. So uh, if you live in the area, please. Um, order from them uh, if you want a nice breakfast any time of the day mm. oh the steak is nice and medium like I like it not the easiest thing to cut plastic knife just steak and eggs and uh, one piece of uh, potato on this one mm -hmm. good combination all right let's do it again egg hollandaise sauce steak jeez i'm so glad i brought this fork because there's no way that is a big bite i'm gonna do it flop jacks you make a good steak benny lots of protein extra carbs <laughs> Everything a growing boy needs. Check out that steak. It's beautiful, isn't it? Perfect. Again, when you're eating an Eggs Benedict, you have to have an orange juice. Take a couple bites, sip some orange juice, maybe a little coffee, and then go right back into it and repeat. It's just the perfect breakfast combination. When the cook finished cooking my breakfast, he came around the corner and said, not only is it the most expensive thing on the menu, but it is the best tasting thing on the menu. So give it a shot next time you're in Barry. Mmm. <laughs> the biggest bite of all. <laughs> Let's do it. Mmm. <laughs> I gotta mix some of those home fries in with all the other goop. You can't waste the goop. Now, gooping up your potatoes is definitely the way to go to finish off a beautiful breakfast, such as this one. It did need a little salt and pepper. Again, salt and pepper is just a preference, so let us know in the comments below. Do you put salt and pepper on your eggs, Benny, or do you just leave it as it is? Let's check out the items in the fruit cup. Again, I'm not a much of a, a melon kind of guy. Strawberries, no problem. Mmm. Nice fresh fruit. Woohoo! Couple blueberries. I will eat a piece of melon with a blueberry. There you go, blueberry, strawberry, and melon, just for you guys. All done. All right, guys, we are all done here at Flapjacks. Next time you're in the area, please check out the Steak Benny. The most expensive thing on the menu is awesome. Now let's drive around a little bit, and then we'll find a lunch spot. All right, guys, it is now lunchtime. I am hungry once again. We are in the tiny town of Cookstown, Ontario, Canada at Burger Station. I've been here before. One of our amazing subscribers by the name of Rob told me about this place many years ago. I did a review, and since then, I have actually come back a few times in the past to get some more grub because I love this place. It is a mom and pop shop. Let's go in there and see what's the most expensive item 
on the menu. Come back here and eat it with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello. All right, how are you doing? Good. I was about to ask you what's the most expensive thing on the menu, but I can see what it is. <laughs> it's the train wreck. Yeah. Triple beef burger. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. I'll have to down that with a chocolate shake, I'd imagine. Okay. Second That's it. Today. That's it, I think, for the rest of the week. Yeah. So you said lettuce, tomato, just no relish. Yeah. Am I gonna need a carry out or? <laughs> yeah, I put it up there. A couple guys around here started asking for like a triple, and we were joking around about it. Right. And then uh, a couple guys found it back, and then they started gaining, gaining steam. Nice. So I'm like, whenever you did my menu, I'm like, you know what? I might throw it on there. Ah, look at that. There's a yeah, patty that. in the middle, or sorry, a bun in the middle. Yeah. Holy crow, of course. Yeah. We put that up yeah. here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. Yeah, we appreciate uh, the promotions and stuff. Not a problem. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right, buddy. Have a yeah. great day. Say hi to everybody on the channel. Okay, All right. wave. Yeah, take care, guys. <laughs> See Thank ya. you. Yeah. All right, nice guy. He remembers me from the past video I did. Awesome. Come check this place out, guys, if you have a chance. Some awesome food. Back in the car, ready to go. Got our drink, washed my hands, everything's good. So as you saw on that menu board, this burger is $20. And the milkshake, I think was around $5.50. So it is a Pulp Fiction milkshake. Let's take a sip of that. It is thick. It is a big, this is probably one of the biggest $5 milkshakes I've had of all the people that sell $5 milkshakes. Let's take a sip. Definitely difficult to draw it up the straw. But again, when you're eating something like this, you need something like this to help wash it down and it tastes super chocolatey and rich. That is worth $5 right there. That's how messy this burger is going to be. Ooh, I'm so glad he let me take a picture of it before I came out here because as soon as you wrap it up and jam it in the bag, it loses a little height, a little of the impressive height and uh, I think we should go in for a close-up after I clean my hands again. Here we go, guys, in for the extreme close-up of this chocolate shake first. Check it out, all bubbly at the top, chocolatey. It's sweating from the condensation of the cold ice cream and this hot, humid weather we're getting here in Ontario, Canada. And over to this burger with the shiny lid, we've got lettuce, tomato, happening we've got bacon off to the side looks like real cheddar cheese our first juicy patty look at it look at it it is so juicy and then we've got that middle bun and then underneath uh, it looks like we got another slice of prosta or real cheddar cheese there's some lettuce hanging off the side our second juicy patty more cheese our third juicy patty oh my gosh let's get into it all right guys, I have no idea how I'm gonna pick this up, but we're just gonna have to do it. Holy cow. Most expensive thing on the menu, $20 burger coming at you. Oh goodness, yeah, I can't, I can't bite that. This is gonna have to be eaten in, in special bites. Here we go, we'll go, we'll go for the bottom first. Ooh la la. Mmm. Char, broiled, mustard, I can taste the mustard. Got a little bit of that bacon action happening. Mm -hmm. That craziness. I'm so glad I came here today. Oh, they're very savory. Oh, really nice. Lots of flavor in those patties. I haven't got to the pickles yet, but it's triple per triple pickles. I gotta keep eating the bottom. 
the burger station is one of those lucky locations that has uh, basically the whole usage of the front parking lot and they've got like lots of space for tables so during this pandemic they can have a lot of people uh, eating at this uh, location okay let's see if we can get the top lid holy cow here we go All right, very very hard to bite very difficult it's dripping look at that all oh, grease grease lightning you don't come to places like this because you're on a diet you come to places like this because your your stomach wants to party and this is a stomach party right here that's invent a new thing stomach party Mm-hmm. Bacon cheeseburger and a shake. I'm glad I didn't get fries. This should make a ridiculous combo. This triple burger, a milkshake and fries or onion rings, and call it the KBD. The car is running, air conditioner is on, I've got the jets kind of aimed at me a little bit and I'm still sweating. Could it be the meat sweats? Possibly, but it's the heat sweats. I'm gonna have to eat this in pieces. It's falling apart. Yeah. Nothing you can do about it. I'd love to see somebody eat this and not have it fall apart. Make a video. I'm gonna take off the bottom patty, some bacon, Mm hmm that's how you know you're having a good time right there patty number two got some bacon cheese bread bacon cheese that's definitely a two-biter hmm. yep that's a lot of meat Ooh la la it's pretty good that they sell 50 of these a month it's insane i was surprised the numbers were that high I was thinking maybe once a, once a week kind of thing, maybe two, but 50. That's how you know it's good. And there's a lot of people around here with big appetites and big wallets. Let me know what drink you would have gotten with this burger. I'm curious to read your comments. While you're typing, I'll keep eating. Cheesy bacon. <laughs> now it looks like a normal burger. Got some tomato issues. Mmm. The tomatoes are nice and juicy. Quite a few more bites, people. I'll hurry up. Last bite. Mmm. -hmm. Boop, boop. All right, guys, all done that amazing triple cheese bacon burger. I still need to sip away at this, but I promise you, I will finish that. I never ever waste chocolate milkshakes. Next time you're in Cookstown, which is just north of Toronto, uh, get off at 89, come over to a burger station and order the triple bacon cheeseburger because uh, it was phenomenal. But that was the most expensive thing on the menu at Burger Station. Now let's drive around until dinner time. All right, guys, it is dinner time. I am in the sunny but tiny town of Lafroy, Ontario, Canada, at a restaurant that's only been around a little while called A Taste of Europe. Let's go into this place and see what's the most expensive thing on the menu. Portuguese steak and eggs, and I want steak. 
steak again. Okay, what can I get for you? I'm looking for the most expensive thing on your menu. This is, I already had steak today. Okay. So I don't want that. <laughs> but, and I'm guessing like the only thing closest to it is your... Um, a dinner is 13. So it's pasta with either a piece of veal parm or chicken parm and a kind of bread. Yeah, let's do the veal farm. Yeah? Yeah. The veal dinner? The veal dinner. Okay, do you want any toppings? Onions, mushrooms, peppers? Uh, yes, yes, and yes. All three, okay. Please. Anything, anything to drink? I guess I'll just grab a, a Pepsi, please. A Pepsi, okay. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a nice night. You too. All right, time for dinner. As you can see, we're back in the car, all set up. I didn't want to do steak and eggs again. Uh, the next best thing was uh, $13 plus the drink came to $14.50. I hope you give me a pass on that one. Uh, I tried to look for places. Uh, that didn't have steak on the menu because steak usually just is the highest thing on the menu. So uh, I'll try on the next video to not do it. Hopefully give you a pass on this. Hopefully it's not a fail if it's a fail. Whatever, it's almost the most expensive thing on the menu here in Lafroy at A Taste of Europe. So they're all Portuguese people that own this place. Again, it's a mom and pop shop. Looks like the kids are working. Looks like the mom and dad are working. And uh, a lot of people getting things done. They also have the ice cream shop in there. A lot of people were in there when I first got here and they're all social distancing as best they could. And uh, by the time I even ordered, they're all the people had cleared out. They were just mainly there for ice cream. So let's open this up because it is 34 degrees Celsius with the Humidex. Cheers, people. So I guess we have here is the garlic bread, fresh garlic bread there, nicely toasted. Both sides grilled. We'll just put that off to the side for a second. All right, here we go. The veal, holy schmoly, whoa! That is a lot. All right, guys, going in for the close-up, but first, as you can see, they give you so much food that it, it hits the lid and sticks to the lid. And you got those sauteed mushrooms and onions and that awesome tomato sauce. Let's move down over here. Look at those penne noodles. <gasps> wow, with all that Parmesan. I, I'm speechless, guys. As you can see, the words are stuck in my mouth. That tomato sauce is just dripping. And over here, look at this. Look at this beautiful mushroom just swimming on top of this penne parmesan veal. Let's eat it, guys. I saw her cooking those up in the pan. Oh my goodness. Mmm. A little bit of parmesan, some sauce. It's nice and rich and creamy. Mushrooms, some onions. I, should, I guess I should have scooped it. Spearing it wasn't the right idea. This is definitely one of those things you don't eat in a car. Oh my. Look at that veal, people. Do you love veal parmesan? I do. Mm. Oh, it's been a while been a while I'm so glad we came here tonight I am so glad to be sharing this with you I hope you're not hungry let's see if I can do a little mix here look at that and see if we can get a piece of onion on there as well and one mushroom oh look at that surgically placed just a thing of beauty I'm so glad <laughs> I didn't have to do steak and eggs again. <laughs> oh, wow. 
This was such a treat, guys. So I saw a little bit of what they were doing behind the counter. It looked like they had like a saucepan with uh, the penne uh, pasta in there. And then they had the cream sauce. And then they're putting the Parmesan in there. And she got it all heated up and then she put it in here. And then they had the veal cooking. And uh, then they put the breaded veal on there. I'm not sure if they did that in a pan just to get it going. And then they put lots of all the sauces on there, the tomato sauce, the uh, the sauteed onions and mushrooms, and then it's done. And then they just hand it to you and say, go and enjoy, enjoy life through our taste buds. This is great. I'm definitely coming back, man. Again, if you uh, live anywhere in the Lafroy area and you haven't eaten here yet, you definitely got to give it a try help out a mom and pop shop because these are the kind of restaurants that you want to survive this pandemic you want them around for years to come good people good food first time i have ever been in there and it felt like you're in the movie where the television show cheers because other people obviously have been coming here for a long time and as they're coming in, they're like big smiles. Hey, how you doing? And uh, it was just super friendly atmosphere in there. And uh, luckily, again, with this uh, location, they're lucky because they've got lots of space out front for picnic tables and things. So uh, even though it looks like a lot of people come in and take out, they also have some spaces outside for people to sit down, which is great. I'm so glad that these places have uh, extra seating area. In the comment section below, let me know if you prefer veal parmesan or chicken parmesan. Keep riding, I'll keep eating. Mm. It's veal for me, people. Veal for me. Are you hungry yet? I bet you are. Hope you grab some grub before watching this video. And I hope you guys are all cool with me ordering the second most expensive thing on the menu because I think this was worth it and I didn't want to eat another steak. Time to try a piece of this garlic bread. Mmm. It's got a little bit of garlic on it, a little bit of butter. It's quite tasty. Got a couple noodles. Chew that up. A bit of toast. Garlic bread. And repeat. Alright guys, I am all done. My veal parmesan on penne noodles. It was fantastic, as you could tell by the expression on my face as I was eating that. Don't forget, if you live anywhere in this area, please drop by and support your local restaurant mom and pop shop. If you love my videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this phenomenal playlist and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.